So today we celebrate the wisdom of Chandra, the moon god. And the story of Chandra is quite compelling because it explains how when we seek things in the outside world to feel whole and complete, like the shining moon, it won't work. We have to look deep within and follow our natural rhythms, our natural cycles, the waxing and waning of the moon. In honor of the god Chandra, I've chosen to do a moon salutation with you today. But really quickly, let's review the story of Chandra, the god. He was absolutely radiant, as you might expect. His face, the man in the moon, attracted all kinds of suitors, and he eventually married 127 sisters. He promised their father that he would love them all equally and share his light among all 127 of them. But sure enough, he did, over time, come to favor one, Rohini, more than all the others, and this infuriated the father. So, the father, the king, all 127 daughters put a curse on Chandra, taking all his radiance away, and he began to wane almost to a dark moon, a dark night of the soul. Fortunately, one of the other sisters, Sati, taught Chandra a beautiful song. This was Krishna's favorite song. And when Chandra sang this beautiful, beautiful chant, Krishna took pity on him and invited him to rest on his head where Chandra could then partake of the nectar that flowed from Krishna and brought his radiance back. As you might expect, however, the curse was still in effect. So once the nectar wore off, he would begin to wane again. He'd return to Krishna and he would become full. Thus, we have all of the phases of the moon representative of our own desires, right? So here we are craving other things and other people that's sure to bring bad karma and have our essence, our, our very own essence, our moon radiance recede. But once we turn that light inward and, and, and partake of the nectar of our own essential true self, that part connected to Krishna, to the universe, to everything, we can shine with our own radiance. So honor your path, honor your cycles, and enjoy the moon salutation. Beginning into Dasana, our toes are spread out e evenly, all four corners of our feet, on both feet, are planted firmly in the mat, shoulders up and back, tailbone slightly tucked, taking a big breath, opening your heart and beginning to embody the moon. Palms facing outward, inhale the arms up and a moon breath, big full moon. Temple position all the way on top of your head, above your crown chakra, planting your left foot in the ground and beginning to bend to the right, opening slightly to the heavens, Ardha Chandrasana to the right, half moon pose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, come up, exhale. Inhale, extend, and come over to the other side. Turning up slightly to the universe. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come on up. Good job. Opening now into our goddess pose. Toes are at a 45 degree angle, cactusing the arms. Holding fingers in a mudra. Gently sinking into your own strength. Job. Inhale. Exhale, straightening the arms and the legs, turning the toes and windmilling over into your triangle pose. The triangle pose is meant to represent the triad of the celestial bodies. And in Zen, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, the relationship between our cosmic self and our everyday human self. Very nice. Inhale. Exhale, turning the torso over that forward foot into pyramid pose, bringing your forehead down toward the knee. 
drawing your energy inward, activating the Jalandhara Bandha. Inhale, exhale into a forward lunge. Right foot forward, dropping the knee, flattening the foot, exalted lunge, reaching tall. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, inhale, turning the torso forward and coming into flying monkey pose. Interestingly enough, this is a monkey pose. Hanuman is often honored during the full moon. Inhale. Exhale, coming up, back into your goddess pose a little bit deeper this time. If you wish to do malasana instead, that's an option. Nice. Inhale. Exhale, coming over to flying monkey on the other side. Nice. Beautiful stretch. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, turning the torso over. The other leg this time, dropping the knee. Exalted lunge, lifting your heart to the moon. Breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale. Coming back down now, pressing up into your pyramid pose, drawing the moon energy inside, yin energy. Tucking the chin, inhale, Exhale, inhale, turning the torso and opening up into a beautiful three-jeweled trikonasana triangle pose. Inhale, <laughs> keep breathing, exhale, inhale, strong legs, strong core, coming back up. Good, bring yourself down into one more goddess pose. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, coming up to five-pointed star and returning to your Tadasana Om Shanti.